Let's consider what happens next in the preparation of the cross section. Here you'll see a polisher grinder. The left hand side is the grinder, the right hand side is the polisher. Now what you can see is we are removing the cross section that we prepared, um, the adhesive with the pigment, or sorry, the paint particle is sandwiched between the two layers of adhesive. Now you can just see the paint particle in between the two pieces of adhesive and they are stuck together. At this point I'm just removing the excess adhesive. So have a look and you will see the small paint sample embedded in the adhesive. Now what we're going to do is we are going to uh, turn the water on in this on, onto the grinder section and we are going to grind down the adhesive until we actually reach the paint sample. Now the reason that we are doing that is to make the cross section visible to us at this current moment in time it's not possible to see it because of the adhesive. So we will grind down the adhesive until we reach the paint sample. Now with that you will see that there will be scores from the grinder that are found on the surface of the adhesive. Now if you were going to go and do microscopy that's not a big issue but you will see striations. Also if you were going to do subsequent analysis with um, for example SEM EDX so scanning electron microscopy and energy dispersive x-ray. Um, now it's also better to have a nice polished surface so that it makes it easier to see the layers as well and that you're not seeing the striations from the grinder. So the second part, again we're applying some water to the polisher side, is to then polish down the surface to give us a nice flat, if possible, surface with limiting the striations that we've achieved or we've obtained from the grinder. So uh, you can see I just keep checking what the surface looks like to make sure that the uh, polished surface is adequate for uh, subsequent cross-section analysis of microscopy. Any extra adhesive that we've prepared earlier will be stored into a Ziploc bag and we will use those later for further analysis.